only on RTV6 tonight. A fraud alert for Indianapolis area small businesses. Metro police are warning people about a man posing as a signed contractor who asked for money up front for work that's never done. And the list of potential victims could go citywide. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt joins us live tonight from our downtown studio with what police are saying. Jack. Well, Erica, police are saying quite simply that if Jason Moore shows up at your place of business, tell him to leave and then call 911. 39-year-old Jason Moore calls himself a sign contractor, but many of his customers or victims didn't get what they signed up for. It's a scam. He's just a con man. He's just a thief. And that's all there is to it. It's thievery, basically. It's just, he's a thief. Last month, Jason Moore showed up at Tommy's Jerky with an offer to replace the signage on the business. Bill Winnan wrote Moore a check as a down payment, never to hear from him again. You know, I think he deserves to feel the wrath of the law, you know, for what he's done. I mean, if he doesn't get stopped, he's just going to continue to do it. You know, he just preys on innocent people. Kelly Brown got the same sales pitch. The owner of Another One's Treasure also wrote more a check as a down payment for sign work that she never received. It's not so much the money for me as it is, you know, he's, he's been on every side of town doing this. And he needs to be stopped. Steve's florist on the other side of Indy got hit hard, writing more two checks totaling nearly $1,300. That was more than two months ago. My son and I both are very angry with him because he's not kept in touch with us. He doesn't show up when he's supposed to, and we just feel like we've been taken. Metro police believe more than a dozen small businesses may have been taken in by Moore's sales pitch. Investigators say it's only a bad sign if Moore winds up in your store. It's a scam. It's an easy way for him to get money. Um, he's cashing the checks at a check cashing um, facility minutes in, you know, less than hours after he's getting the checks from him. Metro police also say that Jason Moore has open warrants in two counties. But if he sits in jail a little bit, here and then here and then here, that will be for my amusement. That will be okay. Jason Moore was scheduled to turn himself in today at Southwest District Roll Call, but like his dealings with his many victims, he was a no-show. Metro police urge anyone with Moore's whereabouts to call Crime Stoppers at 262-TIPS. Reporting live downtown, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.